at your leisure is thankful for a lot of things today. We're celebrating them in a lot of ways. I'm Chad Booth. Join me and the AYL crew from one resort that lets you enjoy some tough love with your family in comfort and beauty. Then come with me, Stephen Human, as I show you the desolate beauty of a new trail you'll be able to ride come spring. Lastly, want a mountain bike that will literally help you up the mountain? Don Dunwell has the details. It's an AYL Thanksgiving starting now. Yes. You, you got your pitchfork? <laughs> oh, are we, do, are we doing American Gothic? Yeah, right. <laughs> no, we're doing Green Acres. No, Green no, 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 Acres is the place. Wrong. <laughs> we are doing At Your Leisure Gothic in honor of Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Chad Booth. Welcome back to your leisure. And I'm Maria Rossi Booth. And I'm Darren Kinder. And I'm Steve Human. And we are in beautiful Duchesne County in the lovely Hidden Springs Resort. That's right. Now, this is a great place. So pay close attention as you watch our show today because next Thanksgiving, it may be your family that wants to gather here. Now, for those of you who have been out to Duchesne County before and thought it was nothing but sagebrush and oil pumps, this place is beautiful. You've got the Uennas standing in the background, but they've got cows out here. I mean, it's just gorgeous. Plus, with this resort, there's also tons of activities. In fact, I hear that they have a paintball course, and I, I want to take and out there. You're going Kinder. down. <laughs> And I'm staying out of it. How about you? you Me too. Out. Let the boys have their fun. All right. We'll see you both filled with wealth. <laughs> <laughs> Hidden Springs Ranch here is just a lot of fun. What's really fun is it's tucked away in a little ravine here where it gives you the ambiance of being out in the wilderness and in the national forest type thing. We offer all kinds of recreational activities from fishing, mountain biking, basketball, volleyball, pretty much a little bit of everything for everyone in your group. Paintball is always so much fun and we have all the equipment and all the gear that you'll need. Steve might accidentally get shot. Tell my wife I love her. And what's fun is we've got, you know, a lot of uh, terrain here, lots of juniper trees and, and ravines and things where you can hide. And, and uh, it's just a fun activity that most of our groups that come and stay with us engage in that activity. Brothers in arms. Yeah! <laughs> it's a good time. Good. Paintball is always a good way to show your thanks. <laughs> Cause that's the thing. Okay, so Thanksgiving, you're all sitting around, you're having a good time, you know, you're thankful, but there's nothing like letting out a little aggression out here on the paintball course. <laughs> that's right. That's the way to celebrate Thanksgiving. <laughs> work up a work up a little bit of appetite for dinner. Ah! Still better than what Darren would do. Now, it being Thanksgiving, one of the things that we're always thankful for here at, at your leisure, public lands. Well, I want to take you on an ATV adventure to a land of extremes and show you a new area to ride that come this spring, you're going to want to check out. Beauty and desolation. Two aesthetics deeply opposed to one another and yet often found together in the most unique circumstances. A lifeless desert landscape, a barren mountainside in winter, here along Highway 150 in Utah, just south of the Wyoming border, the desolation is apparent in many areas. A decade ago, a forest fire raged through this mountaintop land, leaving it scorched with only black spires reaching to the sky. But what was lifeless is now awakening, and even among the fallen timber, green pokes through. Today I'm exploring this area on the cusp of winter with Ranger Joe McFarlane, looking at a bit of the old with some new thrown in for good measure. We had a great opportunity to uh, leave from the North Slope parking lot, um, explored up to the Lily Lake area, up to the Upper Wolverine Trail. I would describe it as an alpine environment and a real variety of opportunity. 
Some of the trail will go through sagebrush, through aspens, through conifers, um, and then even at times we're, we're able to get above tree line and, and open up the large vantage point where you can see for many, many miles. The trail starts out straightforwardly enough, moving through the trees, but it quickly branches off in different directions at almost every turn, heading to new and unknown areas beyond the horizon. The autumn air is brisk and cool, accenting the bright yellows of meadows and the few remaining leaves still clinging to their branches. Once you cross the river, things change rapidly, and we are once again greeted by the stark contrasts of the natural world. Bare peaks grace the horizon in the distance, while right at our fingertips, tranquility reigns. Lily Lake's a, a great recreational opportunity. In the summertime, you'll see anglers. There's opportunities to picnic. We have picnic tables, great scenery, opportunities to view wildlife. There is something about an alpine lake that just slows you down. It makes you breathe a little easier. At least it does for me. We don't stay at Lily Lake for long, though. Today's ride is about a new side trail up the mountain, and so we head to the heights toward the healing matchstick forest. That area um, was burned by a fire um, in, in 2002 or 2003. Because of that, we've had issues with eroding soils. You have more runoff, which then will negatively affect your trail. So because of that, we built you know, a really nice contouring trail with grade reversals throughout it that, that allow the water to run off the trail. And so you don't end up with situations like we had, where we have a trail that's funneling the water down the mountain. The Forest Service is letting the trail set over the winter, so come spring thaw, the new route will be open to the public and offer new and different views of the Wolverine Trail and surrounding landscape. Now, of course, winter is on its way, and within a few days you won't be able to ATV up here at all. But that doesn't mean your recreation options disappear. Ranger McFarland takes me to some of the destinations that are open year-round, a series of yurts that accommodate visitors no matter what time of year you're exploring. We have five yurts, and in the summertime, Four of them are accessible by ATV, three of them are accessible by passenger car vehicle, and one of them you'd have to backpack into. They're open year round for rental, but where they see their most use is throughout the winter time. And that's, that's really a unique experience because you'll park at the same trailhead we started out of and it's a winter trailhead and you can snowmobile to two of the yurts on one trail or on different trails. Most people snowmobile to a point and then get off and ski or snowshoe the last mile into the into the yurt. If you're coming out to the Wolverine Trail to ride ATVs, there are a lot of different trails, but they are well marked and the yurts are easy to find with maps provided by the Forest Service. The same goes for winter, you'll just want to rely a little bit more on the maps since a white world can be a bit more difficult to navigate. You can get maps or rent yurts at the Evanston Mountain View Ranger District page at fs.usda.gov. Many people see autumn as a time of fallen leaves and a brown world, a desolate time. Even now, there is beauty to be found, a stark, unassuming beauty, a beauty that slows you down and makes you appreciate the softer colors before it all turns white. That is what I found today on Wolverine Trail. There's just all kinds of opportunities in the same area, and so you can come out with a large group of people and, and everybody can in, enjoy themselves and find their own experience. Well, as you can see, the Wolverine Trail is beautiful. And in the spring, you're gonna be able to ride that new section. It's gonna be a great adventure, so you wanna come out here. Now, it's easy to find. You just wanna come out of Evanston, heading south on Highway 150, and head for the North Slope parking lot. You'll be able to access all of these trails. Well, I'm Stephen Hewitt for At Your Leisure. We need to take a commercial break, but when we come back, we'll have this week's Pride Review. You go through the day-to-day -day repeating what you did yesterday. Don't you wish you could access that piece of your life that's missing? Find the beauty, serenity, family fun, or anything else that's missing from your life in the Cedar City Bryan Head area. Gain access to your adventure, whether it's camping, hiking, the arts, festivals, or just a getaway. Visit CedarCityAYL.com for details on all the adventures that you can access in scenic Southern Utah. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. There's a Polaris to match your passion, and they're all on sale for the holidays. Financing as low as 2.99% on every new machine. Rebates up to $1,000 on remaining 2014s. Grab an all-new Ranger ETX for $83.99. Ranger XP900 gets a free two-year extended service contract. Or take home one of our all-new Razor 900s during the Polaris Holiday Sales Event. It's 
time to put away your boat and winterize it. I'm Corey Toon, Executive Boat and Yacht. We're your one-stop boat shop. If your husband hit the dock, you need fiberglass work, we can fix it. If your dog ate your upholstery, we'll fix it. One-stop boat shop, Executive Boat and Yacht, 3733 South Main. Bigger is always better, and at Weller Recreation, you can't get bigger. Come join us for the grand opening of Weller's brand new, huge showroom and service center. Join us Black Friday at 9 a.m. and get 40 to 60% off climb gear. We'll be giving away prizes every hour on the hour. This is the Black Friday sale that you're going to want to attend. Come see Weller's brand new building at 936 West, right on Highway 248 as you come into Camas. A Black Friday sale like no other, November 28th and 29th. Welcome back to Azure Leisure. Of course, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without a little bit of turkey, and it wouldn't be at your leisure if we didn't do it a little bit differently. That's right. We're doing a little cooking segment today for our Thanksgiving. First of all, I want to thank our Facebook fans that gave us this great idea because we asked, hey, what should we cook on our show? And we had a great fan that said, do this. So we are going to be doing this delicious stuffed turkey with dressing and bacon and onions, and oh, I can't wait to eat it. And if it works out really well, it's your master chefs that did it. If it doesn't turn out all that well, <laughs> remember it was our Facebook fan that told us. About we won't it. out you, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. let's get to it. So like, the first thing we're supposed to do is we are supposed to butterfly a turkey tenderloin. Right, so just, just not completely. It, yeah, there you go. And Beautiful. Down the center. Okay. And make a nice little trough. Lovely. Into the troughs. Okay, let me stuff it. That looks so. Yeah. Don't you want to tell me that sometimes? Yeah, just you stuff it. Just, just stuff it honey. <laughs> I love you, but oh my gosh, this looks so good. Right. Okay. So Rhea's gonna keep stuffing those, and then we top them. Mmm, yummy. With some slices of bacon, and you can do this any way you want. I mean, you know, you can you can make little crisscrosses on them, or you can kind of diagonal them. Mm, this looks so good. Or, and you know what? All the all those wonderful juices from the bacon and the turkey and the onions. This is going to be really tasty. Yep. Now, if you if you want to do all this a little bit differently, you can like do a hot cross bacon instead of a hot. Oh, cross I like bacon. that. Let's do it like that. Okay, That's so cute. You do one of those. Mm -hmm. Now the next step on the turkey. Do you have to put anything in the pan? No, or, no, oh, no, just no, throw it on there. Okay. This, this is something that Steve r reminded us about, and that Roger B used to talk about a lot when he'd do segments on our show. Mm -hmm. Lay some onions down in the bottom of the pan because when you bake it, they won't stick, and you put the food on it, the flavor comes out oh, from them, and that's they, great idea. they serve as a little cushion. Yep. So that you. Uh, and you don't have all that burnt stuff on the bottom of your pan. Exactly. All right, let's load it up. Gosh, this looks so good. This is basically it. We're going to toss this in the oven. 350. 350, okay. 350. Set the oven at 350. I'm going to go pop Do you want to pop them in? And I'll right. take care of the potatoes. Okay, explain what we're doing with the potatoes. Oh, well, sadly, I don't do potatoes very well, but what I'm doing today is I've just got some really nice sliced potatoes, and I'm just going to put some seasoning on it, a little Italian seasoning in honor of my heritage, and a little thyme, since I never have enough thyme. Nyert, nyert. Ah, we're doing pepper. Anyway, this will be really good. I'm going to throw some butter on here and we'll just pop them in the oven for, what, about half hour? Then just a couple of dollops of butter on the top. Beautiful. So it's got something to melt down through it. Put them in the oven. I wonder if I should throw some of this bacon on there. Why not? I don't That's know. It's a good idea. We, we got, got it left over. Left Wouldn't that over. be good? Yeah. I'll just slap it on there. Okay. Well, we're going to pop this off in the oven. And we'll you guys are really lucky you're not rolls. eating with us today. <laughs> By the time you get the rolls, the potatoes, and the turkey, you got a first-rate meal. So I guess that's it for our cooking segment, and we'll be back with more of At Your Leisure, our Thanksgiving special. Just a minute. When you made it through your busy week, it's time to rest and unwind. There's one thing that we can all agree a getaway works every time you're headed to the country enjoy the comforts of your city living at Ray City RV a powder day in the trees a morning of crisp air and blue skies a winter destination in your own backyard Twilly County is all of them in one it's time to experience a new adventure you never knew you were missing. It's time to find out what's just over the mountain. Tooele County, Utah. 
The Wasatch Front is your home. Tooele is your backyard. stop us from delivering the service you need. Triple S Polaris. Service to the power of three. Oh, the weather outside is frightful. And my <laughs> dear, you're so delightful. Me? Thank you. You're, it's not Christmas, though. You're watching AYL. <laughs> it's so swell, it's so swell, it's so swell. Happy Thanksgiving again. <laughs> it really is Thanksgiving at this beautiful Hidden Springs Resort we're at today. That's right. Well, Christmas is just around the corner, and, that, and you've got a great season. Now, we are really enjoying this magnificent lodge they've built up here, specifically for large family gatherings or corporate retreats. That would, that's what it was designed for. I'm liking the wedding thing. This would be an awesome place oh, to have a wedding. Have your whole family here. Spend be. your honeymoon here with your entire family. Yeah, that, <laughs> <laughs> your husband would Good just morning. love it. Good morning. How are you two one lovebirds? No. All the kids want to say hello. <laughs> anyway, they, they've got a lot of activities, which we've already shown you. But now it's time to take a tour inside this place. So. Grab your hat and your reservation card because you're going to want to come stay here. Let's go look. It's the perfect gathering place for, uh, for large groups where they can all get together in one facility and enjoy each other's company over a few days and have the luxury of having privacy and endless recreational opportunities. You have the ranch to yourself when you rent the facility so you don't have to worry about other people or um, groups bothering you. As you can see, it's a big, wide open, 5,000 square foot main floor. There's plenty of space to, uh, to set up tables, to have great big meals and play board games or, or you know, get together and just chop talk with your family that, you, that you're, you're gathering with. We have the uh, kitchen facility. Groups can come and uh, prepare their own meals if they'd like to do their own thing, bring their own food and prepare their own meals. Or if you want to bring in a caterer, we have local caterers that will cater for your group. On the third floor, there's five bedrooms. Oh my gosh, this is my idea of a vacation. This is beautiful, good country living. Check out these bunk rooms. So the kids who are married like, might take this bunk room and put all their kids, four or five of them, right here. So this is probably one of the best built family reunion centers I have ever seen. There's also a uh, sound system throughout the lodge. We've got uh, a very nice laundry facility. We've got an air hockey, foosball, and ping pong table. Three, I've been waiting for this for two years. You are coming down. No! Oh, <laughs> no Nobody. Yeah, baby! Down! Rematch! Okay, air hockey. Right, air hockey. Right. Let's do it. <laughs> I grew up. Yeah! That's what happens when you grow up in small town USA. Whoever loses this match has to toss to the store. It's, gonna it's not going to be you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I went through the window. All right, we're going to our trailhead adventure. Listen, this is going to be a really cool adventure because this is about a mountain bike that will give you an unfair advantage. Meet Frank White. If it has two wheels, Frank has ridden it. As CEO of ATK Motorsports, Frank has been manufacturing dirt bikes and motorcycles for decades. His love of off-roading has taken him on trails across the country, and his street bike rides have covered back roads with beauty second to none. Cycling has been in that mix too, but pedal power has taken a backseat to horsepower. That's changing, however, as Frank looks to a new electric bicycle that helps you hit the trail with ease, but doesn't make it that easy for you. And while it will be seen as a blessing to some, others perceive it as potential trouble on public lands. You have to work, you have to pedal. Um, it's just like a regular bike, but it's like kind of like going downhill. And we have four modes, zero where there's no battery power, and then one, two, three. And three, you know, drains the battery a little faster. With three, you can go about two hours. It's a true hybrid. You gotta pedal, but you get to go too. It feels very streamlined. It's not much heavier at all than like a normal old huffy bike, you know, and I used to drag around in the third grade. 
Electric bicycles have been around for years, offering riders the chance to forego pedaling and enjoy a ride more akin to a dirt bike, just without the gas. The ATK bicycle changes that, since the battery only kicks in when the pedals are moving, forcing the rider to work while being assisted as needed. I can see myself going pretty much anywhere on one of these things. People from all ages and fitness levels. I have four kids myself. I could see myself keeping up with my kids in their mid-20s, mid early 30s, and um, being kind of like a super rock star mom, you know? I let people ride these all the time that normally wouldn't ride a bicycle, and they say, you know, I could ride one of these. I want to buy one. And so it's going to get a complete new group of people riding on trails. And that is a problem for some riders already mountain biking on western trails. The advent of partially motorized vehicles on non-motorized trails has led purists to claim such conveyances have no place alongside standard cycles, attempting to have them banned on single track trails altogether. You know, I've learned over the years you get pushed back no matter what you do. Right now, the Consumer Product Safety Commission and the NHTSA, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, deems these bicycles as bicycles. Now, what deems these as bicycles is there's no power assist over 20. And these are considered low speed. And so the definition of that is these are considered bicycles. I'm a motorcycle guy, so I haven't really had a discussion. But some just have the attitude of, hey, if I'm going to be able to ride up here, I want to be the only guy on top of the hill. And, you know, I ride all the time places and I think, boy, if my wife could be here, she'd love this. And you know, it's just, uh, so I don't know why they think that way. The other day I had somebody say, well, with this, we're gonna get people out on the trails that have never been there before. And I, you know, that's a great problem to have. For now, the mountain bike trails of the West are open to the ATK electric bicycle. And the rugged paths may be seeing more of these unique hybrids. For men like Frank, who want to have their power and their exercise as well, this just might get them out on the mountain. So I can see this as a family activity. I can see people out doing it that don't have the confidence or feel like they have the skills to get out and do it so that you don't have to get off your bike and walk up a hill, kind of the hill of shame. You know, our whole thing is just to get more people out and, and recreate on the trails. From the Mountain Bike Trailhead, I'm Don Dunwell. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. There's a Polaris to match your passion. Confident, comfortable, capable, that's Ace. With a solo cockpit, automotive controls, independent suspension, all wheel drive, and up to 45 horses of fuel injected power. Calling it revolutionary would be an understatement. It doesn't matter what adventure you're searching for, at Utah State Parks you'll find it. This week's featured destination is Goblin Valley State Park, a wonderful place to bring your family for exploration and discovery. Pitch a tent or park an RV in one of the many camping sites adjacent to the Valley of the Goblins. There are even climate controlled yurts that you can stay in year round. Most campsites offer gazebos and picnic tables, and there are even showers where you can clean up after a day of playing. Goblin Valley is a hiker's dream with adventure around every corner among the hoodoos and miles of paths leading to hidden wonders like the Goblin lair or to overlooks of ageless stone. This is a magical playground just off I-70 on Highway 24, about an hour from Green River. For more information about Goblin Valley or any other state park, visit stateparksutah.gov. Bigger is always better, and at Weller Recreation, you can't get bigger. Come join us for the grand opening of Weller's brand new huge showroom and service center. Join us Black Friday at 9 a.m. and get 40 to 60% off climb gear. We'll be giving away prizes every hour on the hour. This is the Black Friday sale that you're going to want to attend. Come see Weller's brand new building at 936 West, right on Highway 248 as you come into Camas. A Black Friday sale like no other, November 28th and 29th. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. Dinner is here, and I am ready to chow. How about yeah. you guys? Oh, well, <laughs> you guys did a great job. Yeah, thank you for inviting us up here today. And it's a perfect time to say thank you because it is our Thanksgiving show. And we would be remiss if we didn't actually say thank you 
to the sponsors that make this possible every year. And there are many and, and myriads, we can't mention them all, but of note are our, our major At Your Leisure sponsors. We'd like to welcome a new sponsor, Duchesne County, where we happen to be, and their tourism board has taken on supporting our program. We'd also like to give a big thanks to Triple S Polaris, and to Tooele County and their tourism board through the Chamber of Commerce, our reliable friend Stedman's Recreation, who's been with us since the very beginning of this show. We'd also like to thank all of our friends that we've made down in Iron County for the great support that they have made through their tourism department to allow us to come down and share with you all the beautiful things in their county. We would also like to thank Utah State Parks for their State Park Series, which is airing on our show each week. We also would like to thank Rocky Mountain ATV. They've been a loyal supporter of ours. The Utah Polaris Dealers, Ray City RV, Weller Recreation. And of course, we'd like to thank Corey Toon with Executive Boat and Yacht, who's been a loyal sponsor of ours. Well, all of us have been thankful for so many things, but here's some things for you to be thankful for, some of our upcoming events on At Your Leisure. I want to start by telling you about Fantasy at the Bay. Now, this is at Willard Bay State Park. It is a light show spectacular. It's been going on for a few years, but this year they've really upped their game, so it's an entirely different experience. It goes on from Thanksgiving through the 31st of December, 5 to 10 every night. So bundle up the kids, you know, get them all excited about Santa Claus, and go spend the night going through the lights. And then, don't forget, on December 5th, Chad and I at AYL is going to be down there at the Helper Christmas Town Parade. Now, you do not want to miss this. This is so much fun. It's like a light festival. It's great for the kids. It's going to be a big parade. We're going to have our AYL Canyonlands Jeep down there. You don't want to miss that. That is one tricked-out looking Jeep. we got some real <laughs> decorating to do on I've got some ideas in my head. <laughs> and then, December 8th through the 13th, we have Christmas at the Homestead, which is at the Frontier Homestead State Park, and this is in Cedar city this is a great event i was able to go out there with alicia last year and they have all these wonderful things for the family you can make these old west type of of toys for the kids they have fresh made bread in their oven and they also have hot chocolate so this is going to be a great event you can find out more at cedarcityayl.com Black Friday, just this coming week, you are going to want to check out the open house at Weller Recreation, their new enormous shop in Camas. You can get all kinds of really great deals on gear, ATVs, whatever. They're right as you come into Camas. It's a Black Friday sale you're not going to want to miss. And lastly, but most importantly, we want to thank you, our loyal viewers who make an appointment to share the experiences of Utah with us and all of the great western states every week on At Your Leisure. From the bottom of our hearts, we really do. That's, you <laughs> we are love the, our fans. You are the <laughs> funnest bunch of people yeah. anyone could hope to associate with. We hope to see you. So remember, that adventure lies around every curve when you're in the great outdoors. But you won't discover any of it if you don't get up off the couch. We'll see you next week on At Your Leisure. Let's eat. All yeah, right, I'm ready. Giving. Look at that. Lovely. Some people celebrate by getting drunk and yelling at each other. This way you can actually shoot at each other. <laughs> so swell. Uh, is it swell? Okay. It's kind of 40. That's bad. 40, but that's all right. You here? I'm sorry. Where am I looking? Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week. So you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here. And that way, they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget, we have really cool contests.